Hello creative people and welcome back to my channel for today's video. Many of you have asked me to create this top and it was about time to make it. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let's get started. To create this pattern you need basic pattern for bodice and you can find that on my channel. The first step is to measure 10 cm from your neckline downwards. I'm also going to take away the incisions which means I will add them on the side. I'm gonna add 2 cm on the lower line and then from those 2 cm I'm gonna measure 8 cm upwards creating this rounder shape for the second part of the top. To create a ruching for the breast, I'm drawing the exactly same pattern as you can see here, but I'm adding 20 centimeters extra fabric just so I have enough to create ruchings. For the back, it needs to be exactly the same measurements on the side as on the front, so you need to add 2 cm extra. We are keeping that incision and I'm also going to add 1.5 cm on the uh, upper line. Moving on to the sleeve, I'm going to measure 10 cm from this line downwards and this is going to be the puffy part of the sleeve. Um, for the slim part of the sleeve, I'm just going to add 3 cm, which I do recommend for you to add 10 cm instead, just to make the sleeve a little bit longer. For the poofy sleeve, I'm going to cut in the middle and then two times on it just to create these like um, bands and then I'm gonna cut each and every one of them and separate them so separation from each every ba band should be about two centimeters just to create it bigger and this is going to help as more as you expand the distance from these uh, bands as fluffier or bigger the sleeve the poofier sleeve will be. And these are all of the patterns that you will need to create this top. For the material you will need my pattern, one and a half meter of cotton fabric, these loops for the buttons, elastic thread, scissors, pen and measuring band. Place the pattern on the fabric, measure one centimeter for the sewing and cut out all of the pieces. I decided to start with placing the elastic thread for the lacing. You can actually place this thing and just have it as original top, but I decided actually to put uh, those little hooks. So in the end of this video, I actually decided to go with hooks instead, but you can go with this if you want to. Um, as you can see here, I'm just going to place it and just sew a straight line to connect it. When it comes to the top, as you can see, we have the inner lining and then we have this long piece that is going to cover the top. So for this long piece, you will have to create small ruchings to cover the whole piece. 
Um, I also decided to cut a little bit just to create more shape to the top. Then you're going to sew only the upper line. It should look something like this. Before we sew the lower line of the top, we are going to focus on these pieces that are underneath. As you can see here, I just sew a straight line and I flipped it inside out and I place it together with the top. Now we're going to focus on the back side. For the back I just sewed the upper and the lower line. I flipped it inside out and I of course ironed it and now I'm just going to connect with the front sides. I decided to place the lacing before I continue with the sleeves. Moving on to the sleeves, for the sleeves I decided to start with the poofy part first. So I just saw a straight line, I flipped it inside out, I ironed it and I created and I created or sewed a loop because I'm gonna put the elastic thread through it. I am not connecting the sides yet, uh, but I'm moving on to the other part of the sleeve. I do recommend to make them a little bit longer because I personally think they, were, they looked very short on me so maybe my measurements uh, was not correct but anyways um, I think it turned out great. When it comes to the other part the first step is to sew this trim with elastic loops for the lacing and then you're just going to uh, connect the top or the upper line of this part together with the puffy part to connect them all together. Now you're going to connect the sleeves together with the top. There is one thing that I forgot to do and that is the incisions on the back and then you're done. 
And this is the finishing product. This is how the top looks like. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I'm in love with it. It's just wow. Um, this is of course my first time creating it. If I would recreate this top again, I would definitely change the length of the sleeves. I will add 10 centimeters and I will create an incision on the breast just because it will fit the breast much better. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something from it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like always, if you have any other suggestions, suggestions please comment below or contact me on my social media all of my links are listed in my description box below see you till next time hey